let's try this again. It's been a while. It's what happens when you uh, actually start building and coming over one truck, two truck, three truck, four truck, five truck. And you're, as you can tell, in one of them because now you just don't have to worry about you, but you worry about everybody else out there driving them and how things going on and pray you don't get the phone call that I got four months ago saying I was rear-ended because that one went to the frame shop the frame's okay but that's as far as we got with it and I had to fight with the insurance company just to get the, the sleeper straightened back out so we can get the rest of it back on the road but you know they're trying to nickel and dime and drag this shit out so they ain't got to pay any more money because they think they should only have to pay a certain amount and uh, I, I hope I just don't have to get an attorney involved we're trying to get another meeting set up for the adjuster but that's not what this is about it's about you guys the fans the likes the pages the the people that subscribe appreciate you yes I've been slacking and I'm sorry but please forgive me between the bees the trucks playing mechanic playing farmer and trying to be a good boss lead by example um, that's what I've been doing on the other hand but on, on other news we, we've got some news going on here um, we're going to base touch on a conspiracy I've been looking at that actually has to do with the Titanic and the Federal Reserve. We're not touching that today, though, because it's not in this book. Where's... There it is. Oh, there's that. Oh, and by the way, see, writing stuff down there. Um, my day starts about 3 o'clock in the morning, and... I don't know what time it is, but I literally just ate dinner and I got to be back up at 3 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to go through some stuff on this. August 1st, France president came out the other day said, August 1st, if you haven't been vaccinated, you're not allowed to buy food, you're not going to go to a grocery store, you're not going to go to a pub, you're not going to be able to do anything. You, you are all by yourself. Okay, now can't control what they do over there. I think it has a lot to do with the European Union, NWO, MSMs, not a fan at all. Um, but they've got some really weird stuff that they're trying to get through here, especially if you go to the Department of Homeland Security's website and then look up domestic extremist, violent extremist, and basically if you don't believe in their narrative, and you speak something different, you can be declared that. Um, also on RDPC, R is in Robert, D is in David, P is in Paul, C is in Charlie. Website, you need to look up MGT433. That is a five module training section of isolation and quarantine of rural areas. I just find that funny that all this stuff started coming out after Jen Psaki says, hey, we, we're going to have strike forces go door to door. Okay, we start out, knock, knock, hey, do you have your vaccine? People's going to get mad. Next thing you know, they're going to show back up, probably the law enforcement or something. Knock, knock, knock. Hey, we're here to give you the vaccine. Or you really need to consider it, and, you know, somebody's going to get ignorant this is them trying to go most people into a fight I, I hope it don't work um, I hope we can beat this back by following simple things fence or no fence no trespassing signs put them all around your property if you got a gate you got a gated backyard every gate entrance no trespassing don't put it with zip ties put it back on the inside where they're going to have to fight to get to it but it is visible you can find sign hangers that you can post up front Put that out there. Take pictures of it. Get proof, date, timestamp stuff when this is up. So anybody, no matter if it's government, private, anybody walks on your property, especially you females, because there's some young ladies that stay at home during the day by themselves and stuff, you don't even answer the door. You just dial 911. Yes, there's somebody or there's a group of people or there's two people or whatever. They're trespassing on my property. Yes, they come past my signs. I fear for my safety. Hang up. Now, if they 
get stupid and like in Oklahoma they think they're going to kick the door in um, they're not going to be received well when people's at home uh, you know, we have the, the castle law which includes our vehicles which means that if you break into it or you threaten me or anybody in the vehicle or in the house that's with me I can defend it with prejudice most people should be able to figure out what that means. Um, and with ammo being so expensive, I'm not giving one shots. It's not happening. So, let's get this simple. If you got the Pokey Pokey or the Gene Therapy, that was your choice. I'm not going to look down on you. I know a lot of people that's done it. My daughter and her husband did it. Not a fan at all. Hope everybody's wrong because of that. Got some really good friends that got it. Hope everything's wrong on that. Um, time will tell. I personally do not want the gene therapy or the test, whatever they want to call it. Other than that, I am legally caught up on all my vaccines, so I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I've probably been vaccinated for stuff that you guys don't even know about. Because when you go through boot camp, military, especially if you deploy anywhere, you're a pincushion, okay? And anybody that's been there knows exactly what you're talking about. Because they will come out, they got this little air injection thing, they pit it up against the skin and they tell you, don't flinch, no needle involved. <laughs> and if you flinch, you're gonna go get stitches, they're gonna come back, they're gonna get you again. And then at that point in time, there's a few of them that just say, drop your drawers and bend over. Because it's going right in your butt. Okay. Not, not cool there. So, you know, I don't want to hear nothing about it. I just choose. And according to HIPAA, I have the choose, the choice. And according to the Nuremberg, Nuremberg Code, I have the choice. Okay, because it basically boils down to informed consent. They're not informing everybody because they will not tell you everything that's in it. They will not let you have an ingredients list. Even though one of the ingredients is graphene oxide. That actually is more than the RNA technology in it. Look that up. That, that's an interesting ring. So there's that. Oh, another thing is that I find very interesting. The president of Haiti, Madagascar, and Tanzania have all been assassinated. Now, why is that interesting there, sir? Because that's three countries that wouldn't let the pokey pokey in. They said that we've got natural medicine here. And as soon as the Haitian president's dead like three days later and they're like, oh, yeah, we're taking in the, the vaccine. Again, people, we're messing in people's business and we ain't got no business messing in. Okay? 20-year war in Afghanistan and Iraq. Well, we're fighting it over there, so we're not fighting it over here. Wish I could believe that at this point in time. Not so much anymore. Am I mad at the guys in their uniform over there doing their job? No, because that's exactly what they're doing. They're doing a job they were told, sent, ordered to do. Okay, because when you stand up, put your hand up in there and say, I so and so do solemnly swear to defend the Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic, blah, blah, and follow orders given to me that I have done that lawful. The Constitution no longer applies to you. You are U.S. government property, and they're going to do what you want, what they want with you. So, there's that. Um, what else? I talked about the France deal. Oh, yeah, the, the child tax credit. All you women out there that's got kids at home, pay attention and listen. This affects you and your husband or you or single dads with kids at home. This will affect you. If you take the child tax credit that you're paying out for whatever it is now, that is a loan on 2021 taxes it is not free it's not extra 
here's what happens. When you file your taxes in 2021, and oh, since most of the country's been at work, you made more in 2021, or you got a bonus in 2021 that you didn't get in 2020. Or wait a minute, some companies out there paid an extra $3 an hour this year, and they didn't pay it in 2020. So now they've made a whole lot more money in 2021 than they did in 2020. They're going to want that money back with interest. Because we're talking about the IRS. Trust me, they, oh yeah, zero interest loan? No, 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 no. When you pay your taxes, you loan them that money at 0% interest, and then at the end of the year, you get it back. Maybe you have a child tax credit, you get that. But no, no, no. Now, and all you idiots are running for it and all this. So, opt out of it. You go to the website, you have to do it every month. And trust me, get out of it. Okay. Second thing is, the mortgage or eviction mandate memo. Alright, so. You're on unemployment. Then the government kicks in an extra 300 bucks, 400 bucks, whatever. I've worked the whole time, couldn't tell you what it is. So you got all that, and then they come down and they say, oh, well, hey, if you can't pay your rent, they can't evict you, and they sign this little memo. And that goes on. All right, no problem. That's eventually going to come to an end. So that is considered a forbearance by a bank if you haven't paid anything. A forbearance by a bank is due at the end of the term, not the end of the loan. That's a deferment. A forbearance is when they decide, oh, foreclosure, the eviction memo is done, it's over with, that's the end of the term. All them payments are due then. So, this may sound cruel, this sounds mean or whatever. If you've had the money, which you probably have, to pay your mortgage and to pay your rent, and you didn't because you were too worried about getting a new boat, a new jet ski, a new pair of Lord knows whatever, or you were chasing some pipe dream down the world instead of paying your bills, you deserve to lose your shit. There, I said it. Alright, what else? Oh, the other thing is, it's coming around all over the place with these farmers and people are saying, oh, this is crap, oh, that's crap, oh, this is crap, oh, that's crap. Okay, look, you want to see something really interesting? I've traveled all over the place. Number one thing I have a hard time finding in a regular store anymore, milk. Little cartons of milk. You just about to stop and go, go in there and get a milk, a little thing of donut, oatmeal cookie, whatever for breakfast. Try to find milk at truck stops and 90% of them it's a pain in the butt. Or here's one. The big round cooler that used to have the sandwiches, the vegetables, the hard boiled eggs, and all that stuff, they're empty. Go to Walmart, empty shelves. COVID, 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 okay. It's going to be a food shortage done by design. Okay, so please get some food, stock up some on some, you know, rice, beans, whatever you can, powdered milk, or water, you know interesting stuff like that because that's what's going to help you out if you don't you'll be caught with your drawers down and you're going to be like yeah and i've been saying this for a year okay there's been people screaming it longer than i have i don't mean you tell everybody about it just go out get you some hide it pit it up grow a garden you know that's one thing is is gardening i wish the chickens would stay the hell out of my garden they have screwed my corn up every which way but Sunday this year. I long went to green beans. Hey, I got tomatoes, cucumbers, and oh, no, the eight to five zucchini that was out there on the ground. Thanks a lot, of chickens. You know what? They're going to be dinner, though. I promise you some of that herd's getting thinned down in the freezer. No, not even going to put a whole lot in the freezer. I'm going to can it. Throw that stuff in a cannon jar, throw it in a pressure cooker for 75 minutes at a 10 pound boil or 75 for a pint 90 for a quart I'm going to have shelf stable chicken that's probably better than what you buy at the store because I don't even do nothing but sprinkle a little, little little pinch of salt in there nothing else then on top of that oh here's one got chicken stock so we have bones left over from that oh yeah we're going to cook that chicken make chicken broth I promise you 
it's not going to have all the salt and crap in it that you get at the store stuff. Then if you take that and you were smart enough and you bought some rice, cooked the rice in the chicken broth, now you have a flavored chicken rice, then you can add the chicken meat to it, and if you picked up any spices like I did, I got some turmeric, I got some masala, I got some uh, cumin and some other stuff coming in and uh, stuff like that but when I say salt I mean real salt kosher salt sea salt pink Himalayan salt not iodized iodized salt is crap it's been stripped out the only thing added to it is iodine you can sit there and get plenty of that go out like a rock you'll be okay and if anybody goes out and likes a rock says oh well I'm getting my iodine this way we're going to stamp you in the forehead with moron all right so let me see here. That's pretty much it. But we're going to get into some weird conspiracies and explain that definition because that term conspiracy theorist was actually started by the the CIA, the intelligence agency in Langley, because they thought it would make people look crazy. Kind of funny how that works, huh? But at this point in time, a lot of stuff that's going on is not no longer a theory. It's been proven. Oh, yep, forgot about this for a second. Maricopa County Audit, they're waiting to release that. I think there's going to be a big blackout on that news deal. Uh, Georgia's got an audit. Uh, Pennsylvania's getting started on theirs. A county in New Hampshire actually went through one, but none of the state people are wanting to jump on board with it. So they're keeping that hush-hush. Uh, Two other states up by the Great Lakes are in the middle of fighting that out. So everybody says, oh, y'all's just a bunch of sore losers. No, no, no. Y'all got a car with your hand in a cookie jar and people just about ready to prove it. That's all. You know, trust me, I've had my butt handed enough that I don't need a participation trophy. But I've also been raised around smart enough to know when something fishy's going on. And no, no, no. Like it smells like they just, just just leave it alone. Leave it alone. The only thing that smells like fish you need to be eating is catfish, bass, trout, good, fatty fish. Oh. A lot of the country can't get trout. Okay, I know up in the northern you can get trout, pike and walleye and good fatty fishes, mug of threes, all that stuff. The southern folks don't have trout, it's too hot. So the best fish for omega-3 and fatty acids and stuff, believe it or not, are your catfish. Okay, one catfish in abundance, mud cat, flathead, black, gray, nasty thing when you pull it out. Look ugly, ugly, ugly. It hit the mud puddle and just went, oof, ugly the whole way down into it. Everybody says, oh, they taste bad, they're nasty. Well, I'll tell you what, if you guys learn how to clean them out, and in that fillet you got that red stripe through there, take your knife and diamond cut that out you'll never know it's there I feed it to you all day long y'all never know I promise you it's like the difference between a sand bass and a drum everybody says oh you ain't a drum why the two outside by side you ain't gonna really tell the difference it's all metal it's like cash fries good man mm, fried steak I don't know what you miss oh wait a minute maybe y'all just ain't hungry yet and maybe around the corner. Other than that, I'm uh, going to work on some more videos. I am going to get better at it. I promise. I want to tell everybody thank you for hanging in. Thanks for being patient. We love y'all. But I mean we, everybody that's involved with this. Because it's not just me. And it, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm able to do. And I wouldn't be blessed with what I have. If it wasn't for God, the good Lord being in my life and blessing me with it blessing me with people in my life to help me out and uh, continuing to work on the motivation of others to better themselves so other than that we love y'all please share like subscribe kick your neighbor in the butt say hey check this out go back through previous videos because it says the same stuff um, y'all need to really let me know if y'all want to know more information about how to get ready for bad times because that is a private deal we're not going to put it out there because all this stuff is so monitored 
it's ridiculous. But I could show y'all a lot, and I know where to do it at. And it might cost you ten bucks a year to learn it, but I'm telling you, the knowledge is well worth it. And I've done done the research, and I can sit there and show you stuff that's been going on for years. But again, love y'all. Please like, subscribe, share it.